The assassins would have you believe that Al-Mu'alim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Al-Dair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al-Mu'alim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mu'alim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins.